Big up to the Bay Area right here on Distortion to Static. It's your man, Guru, in the house. God Universal, Ruler Universal. I got my partner with me. Super producer Solar. Seven Grand Records is in the building. It's the hostile takeover, baby. That's how it's going down. It's all good, man. So why don't you just give them a brief little timeline about how you got started in the rap game and how both of y'all linked up and how you are today. Basically, you know, I'm from Boston. I moved to New York around 85, took demos around and everything. I didn't didn't get signed till about 86, but uh, that was just like an independent label. And I put out singles. Then I heard DJ Premier's demo. He sent his demo to the label. I found this demo. And I told the dude that I wanted to work with Premier. So, you know, he put me in touch with him and uh, I put Premier on. And um, then we did our first couple of albums from Normal Mr. Nice Guy on to the to the seven albums of Gangstar, you know, um, all the classics and everything. And, um, you know, that's history, put that down. And um, during that time, when we, when we uh, after, the, after the first independent release on Wild Pitch, like 90, 89, 90, um, then we got onto a major label, all right? And it was a six album deal. And to me, it was it was very frustrating over those years, having all that major label input in my creativity, A&Rs and executives who weren't from the street, who weren't from the hood, who weren't from the culture, making decisions, affecting my creativity. And, um, you know, I grew frustrated. Um, during that time, it's, uh, the last couple of, of years of that, I was hanging with Solar. We were introduced by a mutual friend, brother of the same mind, and we, you know, we hung out a lot. And I was voicing my frustration and my and my uh, disgust with with what was going on with my career. And Solar gave me a piece of advice. Basically, he said, you know, Puff did it, Jay Z did it. These guys started their own label. Why don't you start your own label? I was like, hmm. So I thought about it and I called him back. I'm like, yo, God, I want to do that. So after the last album, the the, the last uh, Gangstar album under the contract, the owners, after that, um, you know, I finished up my commitments and everything to all that. And I decided to put seven grand records together with Sola. And um, this was something I always wanted to do. This, this is a pure vision from Guru without anything being tampered with. If you've been following my lyrics over the years from Jazzmatazz, Gangstar, you'll know that this date was to come. And it's very exciting for me. I'm very proud to be here representing Seven Grand Records. This is not just a solo guru album. This is about a movement. Seven Grand Records, you know, pure hip hop without any corporate pitches. No, uh, we're not going to sell you no Maybachs and, and Rolls Royces or gold chains or, you know, jewelry or or uh, any anything like that, you know? No three-piece suits, just pure hip-hop, you know what I mean? And um, it, like I said, this was a long time coming. Under those old contracts, I was not able to use the name Guru for anything except Jazzmatazz and Gangstar. So I was frustrated being that I put Premier on, but they were letting him produce and do whatever he wanted without any approval. And so that was like, that was, I supported that because it was good for Gangstar. So I was like, okay, you know, do your thing. But at the same time, I couldn't do my thing. So now I'm a free man. I'm doing my thing. I got super producer Solar in the house. And I want to say this too. I got to pop my collar because in my career as an MC, and it's very rarely been done in hip hop, I've discovered the likes of a DJ Premier. And now I've discovered the genius and the brilliance of the likes of super producer Solar That's here. That's peace, God. That's peace. Peace. And you know, Solar can break down a little more about what Seven Grand is about. I mean, you know, basically Seven Grand Records, you know, we're coming out of New York City. I'm born and raised in New York, you know, and I grew up on hip hop. So basically, right, we're going to take it back to the roots of hip hop, you know, what hip hop was all about, man. It was a cultural movement, and it was about taking control of a, of a creative expression for ourselves and making something new and, and creative that we could, you know, build on. And, uh, you know, that era lasted for quite a long time, and then another era came in, and, you know, it's been all about that for a minute. So I think people are ready for this look. The Street Scriptures, 7.0, 7 Grand Records. I mean, we got big things that we're going to do in the future, and it's all going to be in keeping with the idea of giving hip-hop back to the heads and getting people to think again about what's going on and giving you some great, you know, fly beats from the streets, some street hop, and then we move on to some jazz matazz, you know? So it's all going to be good, baby. Stay tuned. That's right. I mean, New York has gotten a bad name now in the rap game, and we're here to bring some credibility 
back to New York and, and bring some balance to the game. All right, so, um, you know, to say hip-hop is, is, is commercialized is, is a big understatement, you know what I'm saying? You see hip-hop in, in uh, you know, commercials, you see it, you know, you see it on, like, promos for major conglomerates, you see it everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how do you feel about that when you see an artist that you revere or you respect or that you've worked with and you see them, you know, oh, like do, yeah, doing a Sprite commercial or doing a McDonald's commercial or doing a, you know what, you know what I'm first saying? of all, there's a question to be asked. Are they doing it, or is the owners of their catalog, the owners of the rights doing it? A lot of times the artist doesn't have any say-so because he signed a bad contract and doesn't own the rights to his own material. So I ask you just to clarify, because if we yeah. condemn an artist for something that he didn't do, he yeah. might not have wanted that to be in that commercial, but he right. doesn't own the rights, so he can't say That's no. That's a great point. Right, because I'm, I'm saying, like, as, as a, you know, an outsider, you know what I'm saying, what I see is I see, you know, because I don't really see the behind the scenes aspect of it. I just see the artists so, so on the commercial. So we'll answer from both sides. We'll right, answer right. from that so, side and we'll answer from the side of how it would be because this could possibly happen to Guru. Yeah, yeah, Under so, his contract, he uh -huh. doesn't control the rights to his old catalog. They can use his his music to sell panties. Right, right, right. tampons. So, I yeah, because he's not going to do that. Because <laughs> I'm saying like. It's going to be a problem if they do. Oh, it's going to be a problem if they do that. Right, right. Because I'm saying. I'm, <laughs> Because like a hip hop purist may not know that aspect of the game, and yes. I'm just saying don't 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 necessarily think that it's it's it's, it's a, a politics a statement of the on game. That. Yeah. There's a, so we'll answer it two ways. If it if it's, it's something that the artist is doing, I you know I say it wouldn't surprise me because a lot of these dudes are going out like that. A lot of my favorite rappers are going out like that. A lot of the dudes that, that I've been listening to up to recently are going out like that. It's like, you know. Um, everybody's basically trying to get to that next threshold or whatever, whatever, and they're willing to, to, to do whatever to get there. They're willing to basically sell out to get there. Well, can I say this? I'm, I'm going to come at it like, you know what I mean? Like the name, my name is Solar. Solar stands for positivity and positive change. I mean, we're going to look at it like this, you know. They feel that that's the way to eat. And not only are they selling legitimate projects or products, but they're selling adult products also, like triple X videos and pornography. And they're certainly using their names and their likenesses to do such. And it seems like that's happening a lot. And that's something that I look at and I think I have children and I love the babies. You know what I mean? So we're going to say that, you know, for us, we're going to leave that alone. And we're going to focus on bringing positive music, positive video images, and try to give people that alternative who don't really want to deal with that. They can come to Seven Grand Records, to, to Guru and Solar, and we'll have something that you can deal with that'll be hot. It's street hop, don't get it wrong, but there'll be something in there that will balance it out so, you know, the, the minds will still be able to grow and elevate off this music. And it's, and it's great music for thinking people. For the college heads, this is your album. You know what I mean? For heads that grew up on Guru, this is your album. Yeah. It's right? intelligent. So it's like that. It's intelligent and creative. And and as far as, you know, the politics of the, of the business, where you do have artists who don't control their catalog and then you've got the powers that be that do, you know, using using the music for corporate pitches and so forth, we have got to come together as artists and we and, and as a as a listen what we, what we do what we do is on this album like you know what i mean that talk about it too much is not even yeah. wise absolutely right, so when you buy the album you listen to what we're we're saying with the album you watch our videos you'll understand exactly where we're coming from you know like that was the whole idea we took two years to make this album That's and it. that was really it so that we could really feel that this album will make the statement like if, yeah. if we speak on it too much <laughs> yeah it then loses it's going to take impact. away from what it loses exactly we didn't God. come here to preach to nobody because i certainly didn't like nobody preaching to me that's right i'll be like tell that story walking dogs it's so the life. album google Cop the album. version 7.0 the street scriptures 19 banging joints i like to shout out the people that's on there big up to my man Talib Kweli yeah, representing, and also my girl Jean Grey. Ah, uh, Jean Grizzle. They're on a joint called Power, Money, and Influence. I also got my man Styles P from the Locks on a joint called Dawn Status. That's going to be the next single. Look out for that joint. Oh, boy. And also my man B Real from Cypress Hills on a smoke out joint called Real Talk. That's hot. We also got my man Duop, the Bounce Master. He DJs Big with up us. the DJ Duop. That's right. He See you back he in now, why, baby? We'll be That's back right. in a minute. When you guys come to see us on the road on tour, you're going to see a heck of a show, baby. Oh, yeah. Two up on the one and twos, me and Solar out Two front. hours of heavy energy, dogs. Right. All your Gangstar classics, all your Jazz and then in the middle, 
the new classics from the Guru 7.0 Street oh, Scriptures. Of course, album. of course. And also, lastly, big up to my girl Jaguar Wright. She's on a joint called Talk To Me. Nice smooth joint for the ladies. 19 bangers, something for everybody up on there. That's right. That's right. That's what's hot. That's right. In the stores now. If I can say this, what I've been saying to all, all the cats, you know, that's been interviewing us, is that a lot of the fans, a lot of people in, on your show don't probably realize how big of an international star this man is. He is huge in Europe, huge in Australia, huge in Japan. You know, so when we took this album out, before it even, the album took shape, they got it. Europe was all over it. I mean, we play over there to, to stand in room only. Just came back from Australia. Stand in room only. They they demanded to get the album first. So don't be outdone, man. We're, we're homegrown, baby. That's New right. York City, Boston, New this York City. This is American City. rap. That's right. So <laughs> don't, don't be, be outdone by the Europeans. Damn, get man. out here and support this. Yes, that's right. Be up on it. You know, uh, Bay Area is definitely known for, you know, hustling artists and known for underground artists. You know, a lot of cats are looking for that big deal, you know what I'm saying, that big break. Um, what can you say to artists that are inspiring to be, you know, successful as both of you guys well, are? I'm going to tell y'all right here. And what to watch out for and everything. You, you're here in the Bay. Y'all are here in the Bay. Y'all have got the best examples of, of doing it from here in the Bay. You've got, you've got two, the two shorts. you got E-40. you got a lot of the top independent dudes in the game putting it down. Be legit. All these dudes. So, you know... The Bay has always been, it's basically, to me, the home of independent hip-hop. All right, the template's been laid down. So I've learned a lot from these cats out here. And that's what it's about. It's about networking. It's about not having a bunch of yes people around you. You know what I mean? It's about repping your hood, getting out there. You know, if, if you're shopping a demo and nobody's getting back to you, then put it out yourself. You know, take the initiative. Get it around. Get be heard, you know, get it to the DJs. A lot of legwork, you know, that's what it's about. It's about hustle. Well, I'd also like to say that, you know, first of all, I encourage all young artists to explore their creativity. I think in this particular environment, when I say environment, I mean the music environment, that, that is, there's some kind of idea that everybody needs to outdo the dude that came before him with the same sound, you know what I mean? So if he's doing this, then I got to do this, and I got to do it better or yeah. do it harder or do yeah. it more porno or what have you, you know? So I'm going to say to the young artists coming up, you know what I mean? Try to stay true to your creative vision as close That's as right. you can. Don't necessarily look at it as an independent or major thing because if you stay close to your vision, you don't know what deal is out there for you. You know what I mean? I may have a deal for you if I catch a demo and it's hot like That's that. That's right. You know so what I mean? Be original. So the thing is that to have a vision and then follow your vision and try to elevate the art form. Take it to the next level. Don't be, like I said, to me it's just a shame and I see these great talents and they won't rap about anything but cars and jewelry and big butts. I mean, there's, there's got to be more that you young brothers and sisters can write about and rap about. Man, it's a dangerous world out here right now. That's a lot right. of things changing. Let's hear how you're seeing it. Let the powers that know this is your chance to speak to the world through your music. That's right. All right, so let's get back to that again. That's just from me. Yep. That's from the God Solo. When we, when we were peace, God. When we were putting this album together, the God told me to to let the people know what I've been going through all these years. Correct. Music has always been a way to create and express in no, in that order, because you had to create it and then express it. So in that in, in that thought frame, if you go back to that thought frame, it's going to lead you to a creative expression of yourself and that's what people want to hear and that's that to me is like going to bring music to the next level so hey can you mind if we get a close up on the tattoo though man just let cats know just get a it says, it on says the real hip hop let them know let them know because because we got a lot of young viewers out there yeah, too the, you know what I'm saying? the real of, the real hip hop we got a lot of viewers you know? under the age of 16 that's let just know. what solar was speaking on the real hip hop is expressing yourself you know in a unique form not sounding like anyone else not talking about the same subject matter as the next man and so forth and so on. The real hip-hop is not only expressed through the music, but it's expressed through your lifestyle, your dress, the way you talk, you know, graffiti, breakdancing, turntablism, and all that, not just the rapping. I mean, while we're on the topic of that, I mean, you know, on this, on this record, we have a, a single called Step in the Arena 2, I'm saying where we're kind of getting after this cat calling himself Young Guru, you know what I mean? <laughs> Coming out oh, of the Rockefeller man. camp. And, you know, it's like we tried to holler at this dude like three years ago when we first started getting wind of it and he was getting shouted out on, on, on singles and stuff. And we was like, you know, what's, what's going on, dogs? Talk to us. Let us at least feel comfortable because that right. young part sounds like it, like a dick. You're trying to diss. Like, like you're trying to, trying, trying to get, get funny there. See this? So, See this? You know, and them dudes. What? Yeah, that's shredded guru, rip guru. <laughs> but, you know, 
in shape guru. Whip That's your right. ass guru. That's right. <laughs> but, but um, <laughs> you know, we tried to reach out on a serious note on some, like, what's going on, man? You know, Premier's doing tracks with Jay and them. We, we didn't feel like it should have been like that. Like, they wouldn't even talk to us. I mean, yeah, I mean we really like felt... Felt Real like, slap in the face. What's going on? I mean, that's, this is the legend guru. If he wants to talk to you, at least pick up a horn, be like, "What's going on?" Say, "What's going on?" If that dude Solar in France want to talk to me, I'd talk to him in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Too bad I, he's not doing you know, music so, anymore. So, you know, it, it really got to the point where we had to air this out. It was too much. You know what I mean? All over the place, we hearing guru, guru, guru. People getting confused, coming up town, thinking that guru's producing tracks. I or got ear, or, I got plenty of emails. You know? Like so, so you know, it's like, and then we looked at it as, you know what? This is what the industry is becoming. You know what I mean? It's like nobody wants to be original anymore. You're just gonna take Guru's name. What, what name is what he's supposed to change his name to? You know, so what, what are we going to have next? No, I'm going to be I'm going to be the skinny the, heavy the, D. The, the handsome Bismarcky. I mean, <laughs> where is it going? <laughs> where, where is it? So listen, you know, that single's like be to the original. industry, a metaphor be original. to the industry. Like, let's get it together, man. Let's let's focus, man. Let's get it together. So, you know, let's drop the arrogance. Let's know who the legend is in this and show him his respect and stop with the arrogant talk online about you not going to drop the name and all that. Nobody told him to drop the name. Just show this man some respect. That's and if right. you're a Gangstar fan, you know this man earned his stripes. Yes. This, this dude ain't earned no stripes to talk arrogant like that. But that's so the fans know. It's not a beef yes. per se, but, you know, it's an issue. It's that's an right. issue. Anything else y'all want to say to, you know, shout outs? I just like want that? to say this, too. To add on to what the guy was saying, to the Gangstar fans out there that have been supporting over the years and everything, understand that Gangstar was always about originality, loyalty, unity. So there is no beef. There is no, you know, oh, well, why isn't this, that, and it must be beef. No, this is the next evolution for Guru. This is the next elevation for Guru. The see Guru do his thing with a pure artistic vision and also as a CEO with his partner, Solar. This is what's going down. This is what it was, you know, when Gangstar started out, the thought was there. So now the thought has what? Manifested in this seven grand records. So don't hate, don't think that you're doing Gangstar a favor by trying to hate on the project or hate on this man here because then you need to turn in your Gangstar uh, fan stripes, throw your Gangstar records away and don't buy this record. We don't want you to support it if you're gonna be thinking like that. That's not what we represent. And let me say this, just for the record. You know, I traveled with Premier. I ate with Premier. I drank with Premier. I argued with Premier. Stupid. Premier wouldn't knock me. He wouldn't say nothing bad about me. Like, I wouldn't say it. So you're not really repping Gangstar by trying to diss me. Secondarily, I'll say this. There's no future in the past. Straight like that. <laughs> Coming to you live right here. You know what I mean? We appreciate the time y'all took with us, definitely. Thank you. Big up to my peoples here at Rasputin's, too. We're live. Yes, indeed. From Rasputin's on Power. That's right. That's you know right. what I mean? Come Doing down it and pop the new album, yeah, baby. Yeah, man. The Street Scriptures, dogs. That's right. Come and get that. 19 bangers. Rep that. And just for the record, my man is definitely taking his time right now to sign autographs, you know what I'm saying, to sign the posters and everything. So that's that's the humbleness right there, also. That's much appreciated, yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, this is all about bringing, bringing it to the people. That's the way it should be. A lot of these uh, so-called stars, artists, are very, very uh, timid. They're afraid to come amongst the people. They want to stay in VIP. Yeah, you know we was I mean? right in the mix with E40. Yeah, we, went to, we went to the Big ambassador of E40. Yeah, we, we was, was all the up mix. in there, man. No security. What? We was right in they the middle. They went on stage and performed. We was up in Stays there in like, the middle. yeah, crunk, rapping. Like crunk. What? New York crunk, dogs. You know what <laughs> I mean? So that's how it's going down, man. Yes, man. We love the whole scene. Big up yeah, to all man. them dudes, man. It's they show nothing but love. It's the people that elevate the rappers to that status. So if the rappers become afraid of the people, what does that say? You smell me? So here we are. Yeah, come get this album, The Street Scriptures. Right. Yeah, support this. <laughs> That's love, baby. Peace, y'all. Peace.